fourth question and last question for today. <clears throat> I've always been made to believe that acid primers are not advisable to use as they destroy the natural nail by slowly eating it away. But recently I heard that acid primers are the only way of <clears throat> excuse me. Acid primers are the only way of opening up the layers of the nail to create better adhesion of the acrylic to the natural nail. And that acid-free primers and bonders are only sticky substances that will only help adhere <clears throat> products to the very top layer of the nail plate. Well, there's a lot of questions in there. I'll try to address them all. First, you were told incorrectly and about something that you can prove for yourself. Try this experiment. Soak a piece of nail clipping in any primer, and you will find that even after months or years of complete immersion, these products will not eat the nail. This silly myth was started by some UV gel companies in Europe during the late 90s to frighten nail technicians into thinking that the two-part liquid monomer and polymer powder systems were harmful to nails, while UV gels were safer and healthier, which is false. All nail coatings can be used safely, and none should damage a natural nail when properly applied, maintained, and removed. Some UV nail product companies started this eat the nail myth and other false rumors just so they could gain a competitive advantage over companies selling liquid monomer and powdered polymer systems. This is called fear-based marketing, and sadly, such tactics can work when nail professionals don't have the correct information. The other information you told that were false, <clears throat> the other information you were told that was false, I should say, and I'll cover that. Artificial nail primers work in one of two ways. The first way is like traditional methacrylic acid-based primers. They act as a double-sided sticky tape, even though they're not sticky. By this I mean the primer molecule has two arms or two branches. One branch is strongly attracted to the nail plate, while the other branch chemically reacts to become part of the enhancement. This anchors the enhancement to the <clears throat> surface of the nail plate, preventing lifting. Methacrylic acid primers aren't used nearly as much anymore because they're very corrosive to the skin and they may cause serious burns when accidental exposure occurs. Also, they don't really work any better when the nail is properly prepared. Not any better than other primers, I should say. Newer technology primers, which is the second thing I'll talk about, are now available. This new breed of primer are not corrosive to skin and they have improved adhesion. Some of these new primers also behave like a double-sided sticky tape, as described above, while other types actually form chemical bonds directly to the nail product and to the keratin surface as well to provide enhancement with superior adhesion. Lastly, no primer can open up the layers of the nail plate. All primers work only on the surface of the nail and I recommend that you use the primer that was designed to use with the system that you chose to use. Stay with that system. If they designed the primer to work with the product that you're using, use that primer. You'll probably get the best results. 